Before I get to the good stuff, I want to quickly blast through the entire setup and firmware process of the Dune Real Vision 4K as I experienced it out of the box. Here, we go through a series of updates and reboots. This entire process took around 30 minutes. I'm going to compress this to save time, but please enjoy some lovely music I have yet to insert while you itch to move ahead in the video. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to flip around inside the Dunes menu system to see if it needs any changes. The first thing I want to test is high resolution audio files I already have on my server. It's a mix of FLAC, DSF, and Super Audio CD ISO files in both 2 channel and 5.1 multi channel. If you've seen my previous Onkyo TX RZ50 setup and impressions video, you'll remember that I attempted to play these files through the Onkyo Control Center with little luck. Here, I plan to try those same steps by again accessing the Plex DLNA network settings for direct access to my high resolution audio files folder. As I select the DSF file, the Dune just hangs for a bit then bounces back to the previous menu. It won't even open the file. Just in case I screwed up something, I'll go back to the audio settings and see if there's something that I missed or set incorrectly. Now let's try it again. Still not working. Let's try the same track but the 24-bit 192kHz FLAC version. The Dune seems to access the file but gives no sound. Now we try the 24-bit 96kHz FLAC file. This version seems to work. to ask myself what could the problem be? Maybe if I change the way I access the files, things will work differently. I grab a spare SSD drive and transfer all my high resolution audio files onto it, also adding a handful of Dolby Vision encoded media files. I just connected a SATA to USB adapter to the drive and plug it directly into the Dune. If it won't read files this way, then there must be something really wrong. Usually it's me. All I did was power on the dune and go straight to the media. It loads quickly and gives me all the folders. First I want to go to those pesky high res files that wouldn't play over the network. Success! The file is playing. I'm going to run through these files and play the various formats. On the lower right of the TV, I'll pop up the on-screen display of the Onkyo TXRZ50 showing the format that it sees and how it's being sent to the speakers. Due to a previous YouTube copyright block in this video, all of the audio samples have been removed.
Dolby Atmos soundtrack transports you from an ordinary moment into an extraordinary experience. Music, people, and things come alive with breathtaking detail and clarity. Before I show you Dolby Vision content, let's quickly see how to add media with poster art to your Dune. Next, we'll load up some Dolby Vision media files. Some were ripped from physical media and others grabbed from various online sources. At first, the media files were working perfectly fine, giving me the confidence to go ahead and produce this video. But as soon as I started recording, all sorts of nonsense started happening. It appears the Dune stopped playing Dolby Vision files. I tested several non-Dolby Vision files with standard HDR and they worked. After spending the next two days troubleshooting the problem and resetting the Dune twice, I still could not find the problem. I refused to believe the Dune had failed like this. And I tried to consider what else may be causing it. I tried various inputs on the Onkyo AVR and then went direct into the TV. I thought maybe the TV was to blame and launched the Xbox Series X and went to Gears of War 5 knowing that was Dolby Vision. Sure enough, the TV went bonkers the second the game loaded. I did a complete factory reset on the Vizio and now everything seems to be working fine. Before I wrap up this video, I want to quickly show you the Dune Control app on my Android phone. The app matches the Dune's on-screen interface while allowing you to see and navigate just as you would on the streamer using the remote. This was handy when the TV was going haywire and I could not see the screen. It connects to your network by detecting the Dune's IP address. From there you can load up your media and it will play directly on your device. In closing, the Dune Real Vision 4K is a nice little media streamer. It handled everything that I threw at it. What I like most about it is its compatibility with the high-res audio formats including raw ISO files, plus it plays my Dolby Vision content. I highly recommend it if you're in the market for a standalone device that does mostly everything.